Those who saw him, hushed. On Church Street, Liberty, Cortland, West Street, Fulton, Vesey. It was a silence that heard itself. Awful and beautiful. Some thought at first that it must have been a trick of the light, something to do with the weather, an accident of Shadowfall. Others figured it might be the perfect city joke. Stand around and point upwards, until people gathered, tilted their heads, nodded, firmed, until all were staring upwards at nothing at all. Like waiting for the end of a Lenny Bruce gag. But the longer they watched, the surer they were. He stood at the very edge of the building, shaped dark against the grey of the morning. A window washer, maybe, or a construction worker. Or a jumper. Up there, at the height of a hundred and ten stories, utterly still, a dark toy against the cloudy sky. He could only be seen at certain angles, so that the watchers had to pause at street corners. Find a gap between buildings, or meander from the shadows to get a view unobstructed by Cornisburg, gargoyles, balustrades, roof edges. None of them had yet made sense of the line strung at his feet from one tower to the other. Rather, it was the man shape that held them there. Their necks craned, torn between the promise of doom and the disappointment of the ordinary. It was the dilemma of the watcher. They didn't want to wait around for nothing at all, some idiot standing on the precipice of the towers, but they didn't want to miss the moment either if he slipped or got arrested or dove, arms stretched. 